I'm sure you've heard the phrase or the saying, the heart wants what the heart wants. Does that sound familiar? The heart wants what the heart wants. That saying's been going around for, oh, as long as I can remember, probably longer than that, actually. But you know what? I found out recently that is actually a scientific fact that the heart, your heart right here, tells you what it wants. It gives yourself the vibration, the feeling of what the heart wants. Well, the heart in turn sends that message to the brain. So the two are working together. And by the heart telling the heart what it wants or the brain what it wants, the subconscious will in turn make it happen. So if you're feeling really happy, maybe you're with someone that just makes your heart bubble and you just want to be there for that person, then you're going to get more of that feeling because when the heart wants something, the heart gets it. So if you're feeling down in the dumps, maybe you're feeling like you're not worthy, you're not on track, or you're behind, or you're stuck in what you're doing, any of those factors there will play a role in what you're manifesting and what you're going to manifest going forward. So listen to what your heart is telling you, because when the heart wants something, the heart's going to get it one way or another. Think about it for just a second here. So pay close attention to what's going on in your heart and mind, because if you're not paying attention to what's going on in your heart and mind, you're not going to be aware, and I mean aware, of what you are actually manifesting. So to manifest what is desired, let the gratitude flow through you for everything you have right now, right here. When you let the gratitude flow through you, then it's so much easier for your soul, your subconscious, your being, whatever you want to call it, to manifest what you are desiring most. But you, to get into that vibration, let's get a little bit more into the scientific side of quantum physics. Is you feel, and that's a feeling, and that is a chromosome you have in your body. So when your feelings and your hormones and the chromosomes in your bodies are all flared up and matching, it is so much simpler for your subconscious, which I usually prefer to call it, to bring forth what you're desiring most of all. And you know what? A lot of us out there, we're searching for the dollar, we're searching for the golden egg, we're searching for everything when, when the answer is right here inside of us. And we could pay millions of dollars for looking for the answer. When in tune, you, all you have to do is look inside of you. Look in you for what is there for you. It is that simple. So as you're going through your day, look at what you are doing and how you're feeling. And also look at what you're saying. Because words our feelings and even though the subconscious does not know what words are or what they mean it goes by the feeling of that word just like when you're talking to a, a cute little baby a, a new baby and you say cute little words like oh you're so cute oh you're adorable I love you the baby is just they feel that emotion coming off of you they have no idea what you're saying right they have no idea what you're saying what it means but they do have a feeling and they can feel what you're saying. So use what you're doing, use what you're feeling, and use how you're reacting to the different things that your heart wants. And don't get fixated on, I don't have enough money, or where's that money gonna come from? Don't ever, ever say those words. As soon as you say them, that feeling is there and it grows, and it's hard to get rid of it. Don't you know? It is really hard to get rid of it. So if you're looking, like I know most of us are out there, looking to manifest the income we want, looking to manifest 
the different things that we want to create, that we want to live. So as you are doing this, I want you to do a little test with me. I want you to take the largest sum of money you have, the largest bill you have. Let me show you. Hold on. I wasn't prepared for this part. Okay. So take the largest bill you have and hold it in your hand and feel it and touch it and smell it because money has a smell to it. So feel it. You want to take this, see, it's right there. Feel it. You want to feel it. It's just crisp. Well, what it feels like and how it feels, how it makes you feel to have that. So feel the money, feel how it feels and smell it. Money doesn't smell real good. And money is actually one of the most dirtiest things in the world. Because you know how many people handle these bills? People handle these bills and you don't know if they wash their hands or not. So you always want to wash your hands after you've handled money. Right? Definitely. So not, it's not like you're going to go around wearing rubber gloves to get money out of your wallet. But one thing, do not ever, ever say, and I have so many people coming back to me saying, well, how am I going to get that money? Where is it going to come from? Where is it? What I've learned is, as soon as you say those words, they stop whatever flow of money you have coming to you. So if you're, for one thing, if you're focusing on, maybe you're focusing on winning money from the lottery or whatever it is. Or you're focusing on your business growing and you're going to get, you know, 100 new sales or something like that. As soon as you put that negative on you, it takes longer to get rid of the negative than it does if you put a positive on you. Right? Think about it. This part is so true. And that's neuroscience. It's all about the quantum field. And do this every day. Do this at least. You know, once or twice a day in the morning is a really good time for you to do this. It will get you in tune to not the money itself, but the feeling that it, it projects, the feeling that you have. So it doesn't matter how much you have in your wallet. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to get your heart and your mind connected. Because it's true. What the heart wants, the heart wants. And... When the heart knows what it wants, there's no whiffs, ands, buts, or rounds about it. So you want to stay in a good vibration. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to stay in a good vibration with yourself and with the universe all around you. And you might try, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but I have some um, beta beats playing here in the background. And I use those, I play them all day throughout my day. And I use those to focus me and to keep me, you know, on track and in the right vibration. So take a look at what you're doing and definitely let gratitude flow through you. Stay away from the I don't have or I won't have it or where is it going to come from? What am I going to do? Start focusing on what you can do and what is a positive for you. Okay? So when you do this, when you do this daily, you're going to see changes. You're going to see changes in your life. You're going to see changes in how you act going to see changes in how you feel but start with the gratitude for what you have right now look around you and be grateful for everything you've got around you be grateful for your coffee in the morning let's drink tea or water or whatever and be grateful for the chair you sit on be grateful for your sofa be grateful for like i'm grateful for my microphone i'm grateful for my camera i'm grateful for my laptop and the lighting i have i'm grateful for the artwork in my home i'm grateful for my home so be, focus it down and be grateful. So you want to be so grateful for what you have right now and that will envelop and it will take you closer and closer to what you are wanting to manifest the life you want. But always focus what is in your heart because it is, such, it is very true. The heart knows what the heart wants. Then there's no way you can get around that. There's no way it is a scientific fact. Look it up if you're not sure about it. If you're not positive, definitely look it up. So I encourage you guys to please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. And it's right down there at the bottom. So get subscribed and ding the bell so you get notifications whenever we're going live or whenever we're doing a um, promotion or whatever we're doing. 
We could be doing the watch party. We could be doing all kinds of different things. Okay? And get in there on our... Uh, I lost the brain there. <laughs> our newsletter. Yeah. Okay? So you get more and more tips and tricks and different things that we're doing. So we're so grateful to have you here. And take a look at the training I have up here in the header for you. It's not too late. I know it's almost September. It's not too late to get yourself going. At least get started making the life you want. Don't let anything hold you back. If your heart says it wants to have more, you want a lifestyle, you want something you don't have, go forward with that. You're going to touch the lives of many people. Okay, subscribe to our channel, okay? Chat with you later.